you still hangry? Um, no, I eat a bagel right now. <laughs> so I mean, good. in general. Um, I haven't been seeing any posts from you, so either you're cheating I, and eating more. I'm, I'm giving myself... You, your stomach has eaten itself. And <laughs> I give myself a cheat day a week, mm-hmm. so it kind of... 10,000 calorie cheat day. <laughs> Michael Phelps diet. Maybe like a 4,000 yeah. calorie cheat day, but yeah. And then the rest of the week, how's that going? Good. I'm 2,300 calories a day. Okay. So um, not as severe as you initially no. set out. <laughs> well, because 23 I... 23's manageable. <laughs> yeah. Well, I noticed 1,600, I was hungry all the time. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, well, let me just let my fitness app do the calculation for, for me. Yeah. Okay, so 2,300 calories, and I'm keeping track of that for like two months now. Cool. And I've lost two pounds a week, nice. which is what I want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Cool. Yeah. That's much better to hear. <laughs> when you yeah, said, I get a lecture from you. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I tried to hold it in as much as possible. Because you're just, I said that, you're like, that's not enough. <laughs> like, just like. I'm, I'm like, don't, don't, don't say anything further. <laughs> just let him learn. <laughs> So. Yeah. And I mean, I know you talk about maintenance and eating exactly what you need, but I haven't felt the need. Like, my body doesn't feel the need to eat any more than that. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to let this ride for a little bit and see where I'm at. Cool. So, but yeah, two pounds a week. How's Jim been going? Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it definitely helps when you have another person there. Yeah. And, but yeah. You skipping leg day? No, I do leg day once a week. Okay. The prowler, you know what that is? Yep. Yeah. That thing oh, sucks. Oh, man. Like pushing I, it or pulling it? Pushing it. Um, and we go like maybe three football field lengths. Mm hmm. And I feel like my thighs are going to, like, explode. <laughs> do you guys do it out the back door, like, on the pavement? Or is, do they have it, AstroTurf? Inside? Yeah, AstroTurf. I don't... What's harder? Pavement? Pavement can... Definitely sucks. Okay. Because I would just feel like it would be like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you hit, like, little tiny pebbles, and it'll yeah. stop all the <laughs> yeah. progress on that thing. So. Uh, cool. Yep. Ryan's starting up there. So I yeah, told I saw his posts... Up. Because he works in the plate now and has pretty free schedule. So yeah. I told him if he's ever looking to do lunchtime workouts to, to ch- check with you. Yeah. What's so. he do now? Or are you like, allowed to When does he go? Or, or what What does he work? Where does he oh, work he, at? Uh, his, him and his father-in-law started up a consulting company. Oh. So they, they consult for a company. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So vague. Government stuff. <laughs> So okay. lots of dollars, lots of vagueness floating around. <laughs> so you can make money a, off the government. Because <laughs> so. Ryan, he used to work as a security officer, and so that's what he's doing now for this company. Oh, okay. But they're a new company, so they really only have like him as the employee mm-hmm. or as the consultant. And yeah. so they're they're in the beginning phases. Okay. So but yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal. Does so. he like it from yeah. what you know? I'm I could probably just ask him, but Yeah, he's uh, having fun. Okay. Because what he was doing before this was working for a delivery company, <laughs> delivering solid glass panel or oh like a, uh, wall panels and yeah. stuff like that. So compared to that, when he was showing up to work at 4 a.m. and driving all over, like, I mean, they'd be like heading to, wet, to West Virginia or Roanoke or Virginia Beach or something like that or within D.C. So, Jeez. So this is pretty cake. <laughs> He's pretty happy now. <laughs> So he's more honest and more transparent. Huh? <laughs> it was a stupid glass joke. Are you saying he's getting a sex change? No. <laughs> I was saying <laughs> now that he's, it's ironic, now he's not working at a oh, glass company. Oh, he's glass more transparent company. and yeah, honest and more gotcha. fun. <laughs> well, that was our episode for today. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, the jokes, are, the jokes have run out after 100 episodes. Yeah. We got nothing left. Now we're like an old married couple. Yeah, Nothing's so. funny. Stuff that was cute in the beginning is <laughs> I annoying. Think, I don't think that would have been funny oh. in the first episode. <laughs> Darn it. Well, I tried. So, congratulations. 
100 episodes. That's right, but it's not technically okay. two years. Asterisk? Yeah, asterisk, because it should be 104. Yeah. But 100 is a... Pretty cool number. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking to do something special for like an odd number, like episode 119. Then, that, I mean, we have to do something special for 119, because yeah. we didn't put anything special together <laughs> for 100. <laughs> Wasted opportunity. Every every Monday is a special opportunity for you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but we we bring a special episode every week, and so we don't need to make one hundred. That's special. right. Every <laughs> every uh, every day is Friday here. I mean, mm-hmm. that would suck though if every day was. You know how people are like, I wish every day was Friday. The no, only it, reason Friday is awesome is because Saturday follows Friday. Yeah, and the only reason Saturday is awesome. is is because Monday happens at the end of the weekend. Yeah. So if every day was Saturday, you'd get bored of it. Yeah. If every day was Friday, it would, it would be Monday. Be, it would never be Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Every day is Friday. Every day would be really Monday because it's the same thing. Yeah. And you get tired of it. Yep. Yeah. Groundhog Day. Yep. I saw something. I don't know where it was. It, somewhere on the internet, but they said they should re they should reboot Groundhog Day by releasing the exact same <laughs> yeah, movie back I into saw. the theaters. <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> it's a complete reboot. It's a brand new movie. <laughs> and it's repeating the old movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, But yeah. That was a good one. I like Groundhog Day. Yeah. Imagine, like, learning the piano, like, mm-hmm. tomorrow. To somebody, to, like... To me, he'd yeah. be like, "Whoa, you know, you knew that." Wow. But in reality, he had years and yeah. years of days like eight repeated. Years. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, that would make you go insane after a while. You know, but yeah. Hmm? But I, I've missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. Two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. Aww. I just feel bad sometimes. Stop the camera. Yeah. We're about to have a moment. <laughs> I pro- he promised he wouldn't cry before I hit the play button. Making it all awkward I recording know. these conversations. Well, I always, because I always feel bad when I can't make the movie nights. Oh. And you're always like, you know, invite me and I can't. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. We'll talk about it in Nerd Talk. Yep. But I assume you caught up and I've watched it anyways I wa- without us all. Y- yep. I watched it in like. <laughs> Four days. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. Um, so what else is going on? Squats and brats this weekend. You're going to be able to make it? Right after I just said I feel bad. Um, <laughs> you, have another, you have another wedding anniversary this weekend? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're having company over or not yet. Okay. But it is on my radar. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. yeah. Daycare is going well. Yeah. Um, I was going to, I'm going to change how I'm doing daycare. I'm already setting this. Like, I think we're going to like be off for the summers. Oh, really? Yeah. No summer camp yeah. thing? Yeah. Uh-uh. It's too it's much. Too much being year round. Or... Yeah. And Janie doesn't get a summer, mm. you know, and we just want to have summers with our family. So mm-hmm. you guys for Columbus Day that last week. This past week, uh, you guys were closed, mm-hmm. so it was just you and the kids then? Yeah, just my kids, but it mm-hmm. didn't feel like a day off. Cause... Yeah, because you still have your kids. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, darn it. But it's mm-hmm. funny, because... You need to get a daycare to watch your kids on the days off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do like a services exchange yeah. or something. You guys take Columbus Day, we'll take Memorial Day. That's a good like idea. That. But yeah, it was funny, Chloe was like... Um, what can we do on Monday? Like Sunday. She was like, what can we do Monday? I was like, uh, I don't know. She's Sleep. Like, <laughs> she's, they still get up because yeah. they well, want yeah. Cause they want to say bye to Janie. I'm yeah. like, dang it. She had to work. Yeah. Um, no, but Chloe was like, let's go to the new Weiss grocery store in La Plata. I was mm-hmm. like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> was like That was like her excitement. Sweet. I was like, yes. I mean, really, it was just we get dad all to ourselves <laughs> for the whole day, <laughs> and that was probably enough for them. Pretty so. much, yeah. Yeah, My, food line's gone. It's it's only certain ones because okay, I, so I, it's not the entire chain. No, sold to Weiss. Yeah, I go to the Charlotte Hall one, and I asked, and he was like, "No, we're keeping food line." I was like, "Okay." Mm-hmm. Is it improved or just a different 
sign over the door. It's just a different sign <laughs> to me. And maybe they have a pharmacy in there. Mm. But, eh. Speaking of pharmacies, I saw um, maybe... Maybe, I don't know. Do you go to Target? You go to Target. Everybody goes to Target, right? Nah, I'm, you not, don't as, go to Target? I'm not good enough to go to Target. I go to Walmart. <laughs> Someday you can aspire. Maybe the next generation can yeah. go to Target. <laughs> yeah. Well, my my kids... parents went to Walmart so that I could afford to go to Target someday. <laughs> my mom went to Family Dollar <laughs> so, so I could, could go, go to, to Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, and my parents went to Walmart uh-huh. so I can go to Target. Yep. <laughs> um, the Target pharmacy is now CVS. So they've done some kind of partnership deal or just closed Target Pharmacy so that they now have CVS in Target, which is kind of funny. The the one is right. It's in the exact same parking lot. Yeah. It's Walgreens is across the street from Target, but standalone CVS is connected to the exact same parking lot. Yeah, because I always, I go past the, when I'm, if I'm at Target, I go to the CVS to go out at the light and turn left on 301. Yep. So they now have two CVSs in the same parking lot. Do you know what's... Well, there's two Starbucks in that parking lot already, too. There's a Target Starbucks and a Safeway Starbucks. Um, (laughs) Because we're Americans and we can never have enough drugs or coffee. Right. And what... Do you know what's going up um, across from that old line bank on 301? You mean it's 6 and 301? Yes. Where the church is and everything? Yeah. That's a Sonic. Oh, really? Yeah. That's where so, the La Plata and, and Sonic we, is yeah, going Yeah, and we be. can't have enough fast food restaurants. Right. Which is a horrible location for a Sonic also. <laughs> right do you there know on how, the most crowded intersections yeah. do, <laughs> on do, the weekends. Do you know how hard it is for me to get out of World Gym? Mm-hmm. Like, because I'm coming out in between Popeye's, and sometimes I want to go to Walmart, so I got to, like, yeah, go across all north, those, do yeah, a yeah. U-turn. I do that every time. You at least can leave World Gym and go straight home. Yeah. <laughs> Just right turn and you're yeah. free. Sometimes I can't get in that first U-turn at 6, so I'll go all the way down I'm the I'm glad cent- we have a video camera now because all these hand gestures yeah, for the podcast, it's, like, <laughs> so effective. And. Yeah. And anybody who and doesn't still not. anybody who doesn't live in Charles County and listens to this is just like yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I deal with that every single time when we go to I get Chinese food in that parking lot or La Tolteca there. Mm-hmm. I have to get go all the way to the end of the parking lot, get on six, turn left at the light. Yeah, because it's just impossible and it takes forever to escape. Mm-hmm. So good old left turns. Yes, someday um, we'll have flying cars and avoid y- all that. Uh, cause in New Jersey you can't make any left turns, you have to make three right turns. No, I'm serious. They have these jug handles. You can't like if you're at a light, there's you're not you. They don't let you turn left. They put Jersey barriers there, so it forces you to make three right turns oh to do gosh. what you gotta do, <laughs> on top of not being able to pump your own gas. Yeah, which is crazy. Uh, well. Whatever That's the reason I'm, I don't live in Jersey. <laughs> yeah. That's one of many. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about rounded boots? Uh, I like them. Yeah. They're pretty easy to manage. Yeah. They're always in the weirdest spot, though. Like, the one on the way to Charlotte Hall from from here. Yeah. I'm just like, why? Yeah. <laughs> why not just, like, what a four-way was, stop? What was served by <laughs> yeah. having a roundabout here that couldn't have been served by a through and two yeah. stop signs? <laughs> I wonder if it they did like a census of like delivery trucks or something. I don't know. Maybe it's easier for them to instead of taking like a sharp. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do see a lot of big big rigs. Huh. I don't know. Just it, doesn't seem like Bud's. Creek, this is Bud's Creek Road, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't seem like Bud's Creek Road is that full of like. <laughs> big traffic or something yeah. like that well and that spot that it's at it's like there's nothing here why is there a roundabout all of a sudden yeah in the middle of a long stretch of road uh-huh <laughs> maybe i don't know farmers i don't i don't get it uh, either. I don't get it either and then they have a roundabout in hughesville underneath the overpass there yeah why didn't they just the make that calvert a... county yeah or do they have do they have two roundabouts it's two there? yeah Two roundabouts with freeway on ramps and yeah. off ramps coming out of them. <laughs> Maybe it's like something to do with like not ever stopping. Mm-hmm. Like, because roundabouts, it always seems like there's just, you can always just keep going. And if you miss your turn, yeah, you can ideally, just keep going. if you do it well, <laughs> yeah. you can just keep going. 
and not have to sit there and wait. Yeah. But, I don't know. Maybe we just want to be British. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, but yeah, anything going on with you? Um, we never talk, man. <laughs> I don't know. Jim. Yep. Is pretty much all my life is reduced to now. Mm-hmm. So, my knee hurts. I'm rubbing my knee right now. <laughs> I'm rubbing my knee, people. Anybody <laughs> that's looking, I'm not rubbing Charlie's knee. It's all that, um... Running and marathon. Yeah, training. that's what it is. I've, I've been. I ran uh, from the door to the car because it's been raining lately. Yeah, and it strained my knee. Yeah. No, I've been. Uh, the past two weeks, I've been squatting really heavy, and so both times afterwards, my knee is swelled up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so just my left knee. Yeah. Um, Have you ne- had problems with it ever before? Never had problems with it. Um, we got a fly in the studio and they're having a Hillary Clinton moment. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch that no, second video. I, I just saw the videos. <laughs> um, never had issues with it up till my competition last month. It was the first time my knee ever started actually hurting yeah. um, from squatting. So, And it's been fine the past six weeks. Just the past two weeks I've maxed out. So... I did 405 for 6 the week before last, and I did 410 for 4 uh, yesterday. Yeah. And so now my knee is <laughs> hurting. So. Uh. so, yeah, it'll be fine in a day or two. I'll mm-hmm. be squatting again on and on Friday, so mm-hmm. it'll be back to normal. And, yeah, it's just it's just something that's there and it's annoying. Yeah, it just swells up right below the kneecap. Yeah. So makes going downstairs difficult, upstairs mm a little difficult so going downstairs is always always hurts <laughs> going upstairs is usually fine but uh-huh. now going upstairs is starting to hurt too so Dang. Yeah, get uh, used to it yeah we have a new guy that just started uh yesterday actually at uh he's a power lifter only at our gym so he's yeah he, everybody up until this point all of us have come over from crossfit uh-huh. to do powerlifting. he showed up and he just wanted to start powerlifting right away wow so. Yeah, he is was he a big guy? Uh, yeah, he's okay. pretty big. Um, but he's already hurting after two <laughs> days. <laughs> so he's awesome. been having issues with his legs from squatting and stuff. Yeah. So he, How? he asked me this morning because I he the only time he could come in was six o'clock this morning. So I showed up to walk him through stuff, and he's like, "When does it start? When does it stop hurting?" <laughs> and I said, "Never," but six to eight weeks then this kind of pain won't go yeah. away <laughs> so well that's when uh me and my friend nate were doing the prowler we put on like 245s and then we we're doing one on f- each side or? yeah okay we we're doing that for two weeks then it got easy the third he was like well you know what this means more weight I'm mm-hmm. like, ah. yep i should add five pounds each week to it yeah yeah because that's the way our body works yeah it just so. gets used to it yeah, it was funny because I was listening to another friend's podcast. Um, he is a powerlifting coach, and he's got a podcast, and he's, like, talking about how our body adapts to that pain. And it's like the first time you ever put a barbell on your back to squat, you're like, oh, my gosh, this hurts so bad, and it uh-huh. doesn't it's have the, any weight the bar. on it at all. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I'm going to die under this. But then afterwards, you're just like, you notice it, but it's not. Yeah. You know, your back builds calluses and gets used to that feeling and uh-huh. stuff, and so pretty much the only time I'm not sore is when I am <laughs> in the gym doing stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's my secret, Doc. I'm, yeah, always, I'm always sore. I'm always sore. So so yeah, Very cool. How's uh, the family? They're doing fine. Yeah, yeah. Columbus Day, they were home, so <laughs> we didn't have anywhere to go. So I actually, Sarah and I actually slept in till like eleven o'clock. Oh on my Columbus gosh, Day. it was awesome. I can't do that. I get a headache. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I haven't. I'm not typically one to stay in bed that long either. I was hungry by the time I got up. Yeah, I but bet. Uh, yeah, the, it was really weird. Were the kids already up? Oh yeah, okay. they've been up since like five thirty or something. Okay, so did they didn't they don't come in your room and start waking you up, do they? Mm-mm. Oh man. How do you do that? Because mine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They come into my room to get the remote. Um, I take the remote to bed with me every night just so, like, during the, during the week, we don't let them watch TV in the morning. Oh, okay. But on the gotcha. weekends, it also lets me know what time they wake up. Because if I leave the remote downstairs 
and I could come down at like four o'clock, and one of them would already be sitting there watching yeah. it <laughs> with a cup of coffee. So, I've been up since one a.m. Yep, I slept here. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it at least lets me know what time they wake up and stuff like that. So that's a good. But no, they don't jump on us. They don't care. <laughs> so, are you a heavy sleeper? Uh, I am. Yeah, Sarah's not. Okay, like, rain wakes her up. Stuff really? like that. So. It's funny because me and Janie, we switched roles. Like, she used to be a, a very heavy sleeper, and I was just a light sleeper. Like, a dump truck could pass, mm-hmm. and I'm up the rest of the night. But now it's like I sleep in, and she's just very light. If I'm snoring, she'll nudge me, and mm-hmm. she'll be up, and she'll go on the couch. Mm-hmm.